So we're here with my man Randall. This guy's been around with us since inception. He was one of my very first personal training clients back in the early 2000s. Ooh. We're now in 2024. It does not age him. In fact, look how in good shape this guy is. <laughs> so today I wanted to bring him on camera to give you some words of advice as we age and we want to stay mobile, we want to stay fit, and we want to stay slender. Okay, Randall, you are into your 50s now and you are retired. We want to give some words of advice for those that are creeping up in retirement on how they can stay mobile, stay agile as they age and enter into retirement. First of all, thank you for saying that I'm in my 50s because I, I'm actually in my 60s, but I appreciate that. <laughs> the key for me has always been, and it remains to this day, is just stay moving, stay active. Um, do whatever you can to, to, uh, to keep your body moving. Walk, even if it's just walking, do it. Uh, but a regimented gym um, regime is, goes a long, long way to keeping you uh, lub lubricated in the joints and, uh, and just remaining fit and young and, and, uh, and happy. People always say it's, it's, you're as young as you feel in the brain, in your mind, but that's true. But if you're not exercising, your mind will think that you're old. So um, just keep moving. That's, that's all it is to it, keep moving. So you're approaching 2000 workouts here and you're Mr. Consistent. You've gone through injuries, you've gone through vacations, and also probably as you retire, it's easy to get off routine. How do you make or how do you find the time to be consistent and make exercising a part of your daily life? That's a hard one, um, but I've, what works for me is just uh, deciding uh, that this is what I'm going to do. I'm old school. I have a, a calendar on my desk, write, a written down calendar. And at, uh, at the beginning of every week, so on Sunday, for the coming up week, I write down every day at 9 a.m. gym. And I write down every day at 9.45 gym. It's in my calendar. It's written down. And that consistency has um, helped me a lot. It's, it's something that I learned in business, uh, running my company. If, if I wrote it down, I, it meant I was committed to doing it. So that's what I, I still do. Even though I, you know, my business is shut down and my time is my own, I put it down in my book and I know I'm going to be here. So for a 60 year old, you got a pretty good physique there, buddy. Now the question is, what does your diet or what does your food plan look like these days? In all honesty, my food plan these days is crap, and, I, and I've, got to, I've got to get back on track. Uh, uh, thankfully, I know what I have to do. Uh, right now, I'm going through a bit of a, a sweet tooth craving, so I'm, I'm giving in to my, uh, wow, that cinnamon bun looks good, and boy, those, those cookies taste great. But I know I can get myself back uh, on track, and I will. Um, it's just a matter, again, of, uh, of committing. I know what has worked in the past for me, um, and I, I know when I feel my best, I'm eating my best. So what that means is I'm, I'm watching my protein intake, I'm, I'm upping it, I'm, I'm doing clean. I, I eat very well and I eat very clean, so I just up that and I get rid of those sugars. <laughs> For me, that's the thing is the sugar uh, temptations. If I, can, if I can cut back on that, I'll be doing fine. Um, but like I said, right now, it's a struggle. But I, uh, I see all the, the people in Belly Burn and the, the posts that they're making and uh, all the meal prep they're doing. I'm not a meal prep guy. I have the time, so I cook my meals as I need them. I just um, need to have a little bit more discipline and, and get back on track. And for me, again, it's just eating clean, eating sensible, uh, watching and not overdoing it on any one area, uh, whether it's carbs or sugars or whatever. But uh, I just, it's, it's getting back to good eating habits um, like I have for all my life. So I'm lucky that way. So. so what would you say to somebody that hasn't exercised ever or maybe in a long time and they're approaching their 60s and they want to come to Fit Club? How would you tell them to start off their journey? Well, first of all, just do it. Uh, you know, the, half the battle is just getting here. So if you can get here and walk through those doors, uh, you're going to be well on your way to winning. Um, just just do it. Um, once you do, <clears throat> you're gonna find out right away that the people here are just like you. They're, they're, they're you know, they're looking for uh, motivation, they're looking for encouragement, and they find it here. So for me, that was a big part of it, and that, that worked as well. Once I just walked through the doors, you know, the rest, the rest sort of just fell into place. Uh, I know you're, I know how you're feeling. You might be tired, uh, you might be sore, you might be uh, 
the motivation might not be there. The couch is a pretty friendly place and the TV is easy to watch. But carve out a little bit of time, it's not a lot, carve out a little bit of time, just walk through those doors and uh, believe me, you're gonna see a big change in a matter of a couple of months. So there we have it guys. Thank you, Randall, for your words of advice. I'm gonna take those with me as I get close to my 50s, as I said. <laughs> You'll so get congratulations there. Congratulations <laughs> to you. We're gonna get you to that second wall of fame. 2,000 workouts is coming, yeah, coming up, up soon. I know we're gonna get there. So thank you guys and everybody else. We'll see you on the blue.